Welterweight champion Kamaru Usman says he can't be the most active fighter atop the division in reference to Colby Covington, saying he needs to do more to get another title shot. Well, Chaos heard this and then some. Usman is currently preparing to put his UFC welterweight title on the line against Jorge Masvidal at UFC 261 on April 24th. In the lead up to the event, he's making the media rounds and during an interview with Brett Okamoto of ESPN this week, Usman was asked about Covington's constant chatter online about booking a rematch for the welterweight title. In response, the Nigerian nightmare said this. Show me activity, give me something, give me a reason. It's not necessarily me, I've, I know what I, I'm capable of doing. I've done it before, mm -hmm. you know. You can ask his jaw, I've done that before. You know, now it's for him to show the people that he deserves another chance to fight for the title. And you can't sit back and say, oh, I beat Tyron Woodley. That's it. I deserve a shot at the title. No, that's not. That's not. That doesn't give you a shot at the title. Those comments clearly got back to Chaos, who wasn't too happy about Usman's response there. After the interview, a caption and photo of Usman's comments were posted on Twitter, and Kobe reposted this with a caption of his own. Spoken like a true coward who doesn't want to face the rightful number one contender, the rankings have chosen and so have the people, Marty. Just say the truth, you know you can't win and you'd rather fight bums like Street Judas for easy paychecks. Covington has already lost once to the champion back in December 2019 when he was stopped in the last minute of the last round by Usman, breaking his jaw in the process. Since then, Chaos has bounced back with a dominant stoppage victory over former champion Tyron Woodley this past September and has been calling for a title shot rematch. But Usman chose a rematch against Masvidal, allowing him to have a full fight camp in preparation for the title fight. After all, Masvidal took on Usman last July on Fight Island on just a few days notice, losing a unanimous decision to the champion. Masvidal hasn't fought since then, so it'll be interesting to see what happens on April 24th. Who you got in the welterweight championship fight, Usman or Masvidal? Confidence is exuding out of Robert Whittaker in the lead up to his clash against Calvin Gastelum on April 17th. The Aussie is set to meet Gastelum in the octagon two years after they were originally matched up against one another for UFC 234. At the time, Whitaker was the middleweight champion, but he had to withdraw from the fight the night before the event due to a hernia and emergency surgery. This time around, however, Gastelum is stepping in on short notice to take on Whitaker on April 17th, and what many believe could have huge implications as to who could be a potential contender for the middleweight title down the line. Still, given that Whitaker has already prepared to face Gastelum in the past, he believes he has an edge in this fight and is confident he can get the job done. I think I'm going to be too much for him. I think my striking is, is, is too crisp. I think it's too fast. I think I've got too many, too many weapons. He may try to take me down a couple of times and uh, I think it'll only work into his detriment because it's a five round fight and uh, you know, wrestling takes it out of you. Then he made remarks about how happy he is entering this bout. Yeah, all, all I know is that I'm going to go in this fight the best, the best Rob Whitaker I've been. And I'm uh, going in this fight very happy and a happy Rob's a dangerous one. Whitaker is on a two-fight win streak, having beaten both Darren Till and Jared Kennedy since dropping the belt to Israel Adesanya. Meanwhile, Gastelum is coming off a decision win against Ian Heinish this past February, but he lost three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back fights before that. Who do you think will win in this April 17th clash? Hype for the Dustin Poirier Conor McGregor trilogy fight is heating up as both men say they'll be in the middle of the octagon from the opening bell. The highly anticipated third fight between Conor and Poirier will settle the score as both men have one win each over the other. The fight, which is expected to take place on July 10th, has yet to be officially announced. So far, Poirier has signed on the dotted line, but McGregor is set to still be in negotiations with the UFC, although confirmation is imminent about a location. Case in point, this past week, the notorious one took to Twitter to talk about the eight-year anniversary of his first UFC weigh-ins, which was followed by his debut, a first-round stoppage of Marcus Brimage back in 2013 that earned him a knockout-of-the-night bonus. McGregor made mention of his routine from those days and said he may look to employ it for the upcoming Poirier fight, which many believe could lead to a lightweight title shot for the winner. Double skills work. I also didn't take rest days unless I absolutely had to. Not one. Not even a Sunday. I will take this approach again for my comeback fight. I didn't become UFC champ champ with this method, but I did become UFC 145 champion. 
also the Cage Warrior Champ Champ. Well, Poirier saw those comments and replied back to the Irishman with this. I never slack. I'll meet you in the middle of the octagon July 10th. Poirier is known as one of the most well-prepared fighters with huge heart in the lightweight division and has been a stalwart for years, improving his skill set with each passing year. Connor knows this and is confident in his own abilities. Case in point, he fired back a response to Poirier. Good to hear, Dustin. I hope so. As last time you backed up and shot inside the first 30 seconds, I'll be in the middle from the very go if you want it. You know that. I'll be ready for the tactics this time too, though. McGregor will be heading into this fight having lost three of his last 16 fights, and only three of those fights took place since 2016, meaning he hasn't had much time in the octagon as Poirier within that same time frame. Meanwhile, Poirier is riding a two-fight win streak, including his second round KO of McGregor in January. While the fight is tentatively scheduled for July 10th at UFC 264, a location has yet to be determined. Who you got in this fight? Now he come like with 30 people, he think he can change something, nothing change. I'm gonna die, but nothing change. You know, that's it. Do you think he had any intention to actually fight you on Thursday? Hey, if you want to fight with me, let me know. Inside the cage, outside the cage, you know, anytime, anywhere. With this chicken, hey, he have to stop eat burgers, like Burger King, and come back, fight here. When you fight here? Last three months, I fight two, twice. I am the UFC lightweight champion right now. And I told you guys before, I'm going to make him humble. Now, I'm going to change this game. A hearty laugh and some choice words from Mighty Mouse. Demetrius Johnson is one of the best flyweights that have ever competed in the sport, and his reign at the top of the heap was long and dominant. In 2012, Johnson became the inaugural flyweight champion and had defended the title against top contenders over top contender for six years before finally losing in 2018 to Henry Cejudo, a man he had already beaten before that. A consensus top 10 pound for pound fighter of all time, Johnson is one of the few active fighters who can be considered a 100% legend in the sport and the lock for any MMA Hall of Fame. He's currently signed to one championship, ranked number one in their flyweight division, and is on pace for a chance to capture one flyweight gold as he's scheduled to fight the current champion, Adriano Moraes, this week on the one on TNT One card. During the recent round of media interviews in the lead up to the title fight, Johnson was asked if he had anything left to prove to Dana White and the UFC. And Johnson's reaction here is priceless. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's, it's not important at all to, I mean, I know, and I think the world knows where my skill set is. Um, I've shown him my, my last fights and I'm just, I'm just going to go out there and do my thing. Obviously, you know, <laughs> I'm not worried about showing anything to Dana White. <laughs> Despite never bringing the type of pay-per-view vibes as the same as John Jones or Conor McGregor, Mighty Mouse was more than a dominant champion as flyweight. As UFC champion, Johnson was so good that many people thought his fights were foregone conclusions and that he would continue to win simply because he was demolishing guys in a weight class that traditionally doesn't get the same number of eyeballs as some of the heavier guys. But what do you think of Mighty Mouse's comments here? 